In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how you can print a page with JavaScript. So this is going to be a really simple video just to show you how you can print a web page with JavaScript that you're working with. So it might be you need to set up a button that when the user clicks it, it opens up the print dialog on their particular machine. And I'll show you a method that you can actually tidy up the output for your printer in just a second. But first, let's see how you actually print using JavaScript. So I've just got a simple web page set up at the moment. So if I wanted to send this content to the printer in the console, I can simply say window.print and that should open up my print dialog on Windows. So if you wanted to wire it up to a button, it's just a case of creating a button and using an event listener that when it's clicked, the window.print function is called. And that's pretty much it, but you'll also notice that I've got the button that was on my page actually displaying on my printer output. And that's something if you're sending some content to the printer using JavaScript, it's probably only the main content that you want the user to be able to print. So if we just go back to the console, I can actually bring up the code for this page in Visual Studio Code. The best way to remove that button from the print output is to use a media query for printable pages and just set the display property to none of that button. So if we go back to our page and reload it, and then try window.print again, you'll see the button in the output is no longer displayed because we've told our browser that when the page is being printed to actually hide any buttons on the page. Of course, that's a simple example and you might want to think about how the layout might be affected if you start removing elements from a page, but you should get the idea that you can use the media query for print, but you should get the idea that you can use the print media query to customize the page appearance when the user is printing it. So that's pretty much it. All you need to do to print a page using JavaScript is to call the window.print function.